I'm like the Cassidy of this platform. You know, he made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. Anyways, <laughs> this is James O'Keefe. If you are unfamiliar with him and his brand, Project Veritas, we've already done videos of um, other exposés that he's done, including Bernie Sanders, multiple Bernie Sanders uh, employees talking some of the craziest nonsense, and uh, the Elizabeth Warren Angel Alcia, I believe that was his name, our spirit animal when it comes to uh, politics. <laughs> so him and his team have done some really fantastic work when it comes to, you know, guerrilla journal journalism. And in this case, he's going to get the test for the for the illness due to I think he's in like New Rochelle. And I, I really think that it's an, it's super important to point this out and highlight it. So let's go ask them some questions when we do so. I got a call yesterday from the New York State Department of Health and said that I could get the test. I clarified I do not have symptoms. I've been traveling a lot, interacting with a lot of people who may have it. They said you can get the test. So we're about to get it. We are pulling up into Glen Island Park. There's a police officer here. You can see it says tune in to 6, 16, 10 a.m. for more information. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Welcome to the New Rochelle Testing Facility at Glen Island. Tests are provided by appointment only. To make an appointment, please call one 364 3065 If you have an appointment, take the identification as well as the identification of everyone else in your vehicle on the dashboard. Please approach the entrance slowly, place your car in park, stay in your vehicle, keep your windows rolled up, and follow the directions of the workers. It is also essential that there be no eating, drinking, gum chewing, abuse of tobacco products, 30 minutes prior to the test. Thank you. Basically, it's a 45-second loop on the, on the radio. i got some Army National Guard guys here with Matt. Man, doesn't this look like some World War Z day after tomorrow nonsense, man? And this out here, uh, just to be clear, I think this is a new world. Yeah, this is New Rochelle, New York, and it's not Manhattan or California there. Like this is just one place. And it's important to make that very, very clear. But at the same time. Let me give you guys just like, like I tend to do on this channel. I want to give you guys a little bit of perspective since February 15th. Right. There's been 45 days. And thanks to one of you, um, I now know that on average is 745, 700, 7,450 people die per day in the U.S. So, you know, rounded it down and did a little bit of number 45 times 700 and 7,400. My goodness is 333,000 people like since the end, since the end of, uh, not the end of February, but uh, February 15th, over 333,000 people have died in the United States. I think coronavirus has just cracked 3,000 bodies. So... It's on testing people. Hey, do you got an appointment? Yes. At what time? 12.30. 12.30? Appointment zone? He's just with me. He's my... No. Okay. Anybody else before? Nope, just us two. Uh, your favorite to charge your blinkers? The hazards? Uh, what do you think? Is this as bad as everyone's saying out here? Or should I trust the media? So it's quick. I mean, for the kids, it's bad. It's just they're going to stick up uh, like a two tip so for the so initially this guy is thinking he's asking about um <laughs> how bad the test is but no 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 he's just asking in general okay nose um i heard it's like a weird feeling it's uh, not like bad like you ever got the one thing when you get strep throat you put something in the yeah well, what about the the situation itself is it as bad as ever the media is saying the whole pandemic oh no it's, just, it's the flu it's just the flu. It's the flu. That's all it is. It's the flu. Wow, it's not as bad as the CNN is telling me. Is it as bad as Andrew Cuomo is telling me? And is it as bad as Andrew Cuomo is saying on CNN? I don't know. It's just a flu, though, basically. It affects everybody differently. Okay. Yeah. As the flu tends to do, right? I mean, like I said, three hundred and thirty thousand people since you know February fifteenth, and. Uh, the response, the government, you know, over like it really feels to an extent like there is. I'm not saying 
that uh, quarantining and, uh, you know, taking precautions isn't a good thing. Uh, definitely. But to shut down the entire world over this feels a little bit more on the manufactured side. And not saying that the, the, the corona situation is completely manufactured. That's the thing about any good lie. It contains portions and nuggets of the truth. But, like, I, I don't, I, I'm just, I've, I have yet to hear anyone specify that what's what everyone in the united states is tripping over is the exact same thing as what took place over in wuhan so pretty much um like you got symptoms i might and or a lot of people don't have the problem is that it spreads quick like the flu like a cold what are you are you guys like army national guard or what are you guys yeah, it's the army. you're in the army yeah, from New York. where are you from brooklyn well thanks for being here yeah we live we live cool we all over the place God, it's everywhere. And it's not as bad as the media is saying. I'm hearing you. No. I'm in the tent with you. What the hell? I'm doing all this shit. You're doing everything. Yeah. And I'm not getting sick. I'm good. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for thanks for being here, man. Thank you. Yeah. Because like most germs, it's gonna it's not gonna hit everybody the same way, you know. And the and we have flu season in this country year round. So it. Uh, draw your own conclusions. I'm speaking with these army guys. I mean, they're basically just telling me it's just a bad flu. That's all they're saying. It's not as bad as the media saying everything. Pretty crazy. I mean, that's not what we're hearing in the news. So I'm going to ask you not to do any photography or video. Oh, sorry about that. It's so just an issue with HIPAA and stuff. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. Is it as bad as they're saying, this pandemic? Everyone's freaking out. Is it bad? Is it is it overblown by the media? Is What is it like? Is it what? Is the media uh, uh, accurately reporting, or is it as bad as people are saying? No. It's not as bad as the... The media is making it out bigger. Wow. We just want to be precautious. We just be precautious, yep. All right. One of the things that I didn't bring up in the other video that I did, particularly yesterday on Alcindor Lady, is that they're still getting paid. They're still working. Journalists and those types, they're still working. So, of course, they're going to keep pressing it hard because that's more clicks, more views, more attention for them. When in reality, I mean, what have been what's been the um, the, the one of the major uh I don't want to say a uh, um, uh, uh, cures, but one of the major bits of advice given to us. And it's 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 the most elementary stuff. Wash your hands. Take care of yourself. You know, take your vitamins, make uh, do all you can to keep your immune system, you know, tip top in, in, in right order, which is something that you really should do regardless. So, uh, my goodness. Yeah, no. OK, thank you. Thanks, sir. So this guy just said the same thing. He told us that he said, I asked, I asked him, is it, is it as bad as the media says? He says, nope, no. He was clear. He said, we're just being precautious. That's what he said just now. Yeah, two people telling me this is not as bad as what the media is saying. And that's the thing about the military is that, you know, you're going to follow orders. That's just how it goes. You know, that's your job. Do your job. And when it comes to uh, the military, you know, there's, hey, precaution. We're, we're just being precautious and taking these precautions and the like. Cool. Get it. But once again, remember, that's their job. Every Everybody else is getting paid except for the regular folks such as us who, who are at the brunt end of this. You don't think your, your mayor, you don't think Cuomo and Murphy are still getting their paychecks? They damn sure getting they're still getting their paychecks. Unbelievable. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Just two today, right? Just two of us. Yes. Only two tests? Just two tests. Is it as bad as everyone's saying? Is it is this as bad? Is the pandemic as bad, or is it just a flu? Uh, I mean, listen, man. I can't really comment yeah. on that because I'm not a doctor, understood, or a biologist or anything. And you know what? I can't help but feel like they depend on all of us not being a doctor or a biologist or anything. So we kind of have to just take their word for it. They know they have that level of power, and thusly they're wielding it like a scythe. Um, this is obviously pretty unprecedented. Yeah. Taking the proper precautions is always going to ensure your safety and the safety of the, to those around you. Understood. Those who are willing to sacrifice freedom for safety or security dis are deserving of neither. All right, so it's not just the flu. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. 
taking precautions. Same sort of lie. We're just taking precautions is what he's saying. Do they allow you guys to get tested? Yeah, we do. Oh, good. Good, good, good. That's an affirmative. They allow they allow the Army guys to get tested. Are you James? I am James, yes. How are you? How are you guys? You got, they've got... So we basically got everything that they um, have as far as, you know, those who would be in the know, our military and the people who are on the ground dealing with this. Uh, they have that's about as far as it goes. But also, you know, I want to show you guys how the testing, um, how the testing is per is performed. You guys get tested, right? You do? You, can you guys get tested, too? Oh, uh, we can. Good. Yeah. That's keep everybody safe and healthy. That's very important that you guys... Very important. Is this as bad as they're saying? I, I, I can't... I don't know if I should trust the media, you know? You know, I think it's just so new. Yeah. Um, it's so new, but I'll tell you what. I, I've seen people who have nothing more than, like, a little cough, and that's all they get. Yeah. And then, you know, some people get really sick, so... So new. It's so new. It's yep, understood. All right. And I can't help but feel like they're leaning on it being new, being like it, <laughs> scared. People are so easy to manipulate because they're scared, and this is it, it. Really, just feels like a ton of fear. Now, once again, not to say I want anybody to be harmed or anything like that. That's not the case at all. But when when measuring, hey, the economy over, like you know, when it comes to deaths, not. And that's another thing that I really want to um, point out because, oh, yeah, well, we have they like to throw out the really big number, which is the people who are, you know, infected or, or are carrying it. But the small the way smaller number is the death rate. And they, they've actually been walking that back um, since this became like, oh, my, since the, began, the pandemic began, they've been walking that back. I'm a nurse. All right. This is going to be uncomfortable, right? So Alyssa has some really pretty eyes. Actually, you came on the right day because we used to go far back. Today, we're just going in a little bit. Oh, that's bit. so good. So you came just in time. Just in time. Yes, All right. You missed the far back. Oh, I'm so happy for that. I'm going to go in just a little. Try to relax for me, okay? Just stay relaxed. Good job. Got to stay in a little longer since we're not going as far back. A little chimney sweep. All right. Going to go to the other side, okay? All right. Do you get bloody noses ever? Yes. You do. It looks like you might have one coming on. So if you have tissues nearby, just wanted to let you know. I'm not a surprise with this weather. It's so yucky. Okay. Oh, man. My wife's eyes are watering. I know. You did a great job. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead in your mouth, okay? All right. Go to the back of your mouth. How far? Really Am I going to gag? Uh, hopefully not. You're, you're nodding your head yeah. <laughs> like I'm going to gag. Wouldn't it be weird if this was all DNA collection and, you know, <laughs> like lining up everybody's ancestry? I'm not sure. I mean, Bill Gates is talking about micro tripping people. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Just I wanted to show you uh, another angle, another perspective, because a lot of us are, you know, stuck in place and we don't get to see exactly how the testing facilities are or really get a lot of good, uh, a lot of insight from people on the ground talking about it in a more candid um, way. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the Internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Um, like I am just very, very concerned that we are trading our freedoms. We're trading our constitutional rights for, you know, at the whims of, you know, the invisible hand, our overlords, our a massa, if, if, if you would. And I'm, I'm not a fan. I, I won't be a fan. I can remain being not a fan. And the fact that you hopped in my way and, brought, and, and and stopped my money is a bit of an issue for me, okay? But you may feel differently. You may be of the... I mean, come on, guys. I, I, I do this channel because I want people to disagree with me and come and tell me why I'm wrong or tell me how I can be wrong. That is what my comment section is for, to please tell me how I'm wrong. Now, if you are very nasty, YouTube takes the uh, content, it takes the comment down. I don't do that. I actually prefer to leave all the comments up because, hey, by all means, it's called freedom of speech. But I understand why they do it. And and a lot of those comments aren't particularly um, helpful. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for just a, a, a means in which to, like, you know, kill my own paranoia as I do this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next one.